Welcome to Samula Live. This is a really, really extra, extra exciting event today. We have an illustrator and an author here to read a book to you, to tell you all about how they made this book and to teach you how to draw a little special someone that's in the book. They will also be taking any questions and all comments. So there is a chat that you can put any questions or any comments in, and I will be sure to share them with the author and the illustrator. My name is Erica, but you're not here to see me. You are here to see the author, Angela H. Dale, and the illustrator, Lala Watkins, of the book, Busta which is a beautiful snowy book. And I don't know where you are, but I'm in New York City and it is not snowing yet. It's a little rainy as a matter of fact, but I'm hoping for snow to come soon. So I am going to bring in the author, Angela H. Dale, and this is her very first book. Not the first book she's written, but the first book she's published. That is so true. And it's, I'm very excited and lucky that this is my first book to be published. It's just gorgeous. And Lala Watkins did a beautiful job on it. Oh, congratulations, Angela. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to bring in Lala next. Lala Watkins is the illustrator. She drew the pictures. It's not her first book. Lala also drew the pictures for this book, Ismelda, the fairest dragon of them all. And this book has not even published yet. It's not even on the bookshelves. You might be the very first people ever seeing it, except for the people who worked on it. It comes out soon. And she did the pictures and wrote the words for this book, Little Santa's Workshop. And this is in the stores and you can find it if you want it. It's probably also in your library. So without further ado, here's Lala Watkins. Hi. Thank Hi, you, Lala. Erica. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining. I'm so happy to have you both here. So, so we are going to start with a reading of the book. Okay, so everybody can get cozy and comfortable. And I am going to put the book up on the screen. And Angela, you'll read it for us? I absolutely. Okay. Here we go, everybody. I can give you all a little hint. There is a lot to see in this book. So keep your eyes peeled. Lots of fun stuff. Bus stop. These are called the end papers. They are the first part of the inside of the book that you see. And then there's end papers in the front and there's end papers in the back. And sometimes they're the same and sometimes they're different. So you can keep this image in your mind until we get to the other end papers and see what you think, if they're the same or different. Here's the dedication page and the title page with lots of fun little surprises on it. Keep your eyes peeled. Sleepy street, still gray, empty bus stop, school day. Antoine arrives. Beatrice burrows, Carlos catches, Divya drifts. The bus will be here soon. Emmy scouts, Fran sketches, Griffin skips. No bus yet. Hannah stomps, Isaiah romps, Kartik waltzes. I'm sorry, Joel waltzes. Kartik wonders, where's the bus? Lyric leaps, Mahmood laughs. laughs. Nina lags. She is late. But the bus is later. 
Hmm. Orion scoops. Polly stoops. Quinn whoops. Woohoo! Anyway, this these are the end papers. And then this is the back of the book. There's the bus all snowed in. Maybe the bus will get dug out for tomorrow. Maybe there'll be more snow. We just don't know, do we? Well, thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. It was so fun listening to you read, Angela. Oh, thank you, Lala. <laughs> There's so much joy on the page. It's thank fun you. to try to put it in my voice. <laughs> you have such a nice voice. Oh, thank you. I will say that I like, personally, I love hot chocolate with peppermint sticks and marshmallows. Ooh. Yeah. Aram <laughs> says hot chocolate rules, hot cocoa rules. And I got to say, I'm kind of with you on that one. It does. It does. But I want to ask you, for your process, what was that like? How many times did you, you know, write this story? Wow. Well, the one question is how many times did I have a final manuscript or thought I had a final manuscript? Yes. So I started writing this back in 2016. That was six years ago. And I was driving along near my neighborhood and I saw a new bus stop and there were all these kids running around and it looked like so much fun. And it reminded me of when I was a kid waiting for the bus stop. And then that reminded me sometimes the bus never came and that was always kind of a mystery and you just kind of had to wait and wait until you figured it out so that kind of inspired me to write the book and there were so many kids at the bus stop i wanted to put them all in mm -hmm. so i thought i don't know whether you all noticed but all of the names started with a letter from the alphabet so think in your head do you know how many characters that means with names if you guessed 26, you're right. So this was a first, an early draft. And I just had the letters for the names. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about what they were doing. And then, of course, I sent it around to friends and professionals and got notes back that told me what was working and what wasn't working and gave me some ideas for how I could improve things. Mm -hmm. Here's more brainstorming. I'm thinking about this was this was the moment when I wrote the line, the bus will be here soon. And that's Ooh. in the final manuscript. It used to say it's too early for the bus, but I changed it. Then when an editor decided that they want to wanted to publish it, Amy Nevesky at Cameron Books, she gave me notes. And these are the notes right here. So then I edited it some more. I thought when it when she said, Oh, I want to publish that book, that yay, the book was done. But then she had ideas, and so I wrote them and made a few more changes, swapped some names, and so, yay, the book was done. But then we saw Lala's pictures, <laughs> and that added a whole new element to it. And I wanted to make sure my words really matched Lala's amazing pictures. So then I did more editing and moved around some more names you'll notice it's not emmett sketches anymore or florencia scouts now it is emmy scouts and Flor and fran sketches because that worked better with the pictures and there towards the end i did a lot of changes so anyway it was six years to get it to publication and i don't know maybe five or six final manuscripts wow. it's never final until it goes to the printer that is true but the thing that really amazed me was when I got to see Lala's pictures because it was just words in my head and that was not my deal. And that was exciting. I want to know how the process worked for you. I mean, 26 characters is a lot. 26 and characters. the whole thing is amazing. <laughs> no, I love it. I was so inspired by your words that when I would receive each manuscript you gave, um, I was so happy to bring those characters alive. And I was like, okay, 26 characters, what can they do? So for me, I did a lot of sketching, a lot of looking at um, snowy places, trying to familiarize myself with snow. And uh, I did a lot of the book, as you can see, is a lot of textures here. So all this is collage and textures and 
digital illustrations that I made. So I made a lot of textures myself, which was a lot of painting and drawing. And I have a whole stack here of all the things that I've drawn and created wow. on different papers. And I was like, oh, maybe a grid would be nice and something. You can see some of that there and just a whole bunch of different things. Like, what does the crayon on paper do? And what does that do? And what if I did it on craft paper and painted? What does that look like? So there's a lot of painting, a lot of different brush techniques. Um, and using a dry brush and making it look like this. So there is one part here that you guys saw a lot in the book, which was the sky. It was very pretty. Yeah. You can see the sky when Antoine arrives and you see this texture. Well, that was made for me painting this. This beautiful uh, paint here of this purple. I'm just adding those elements and digitally layering them all over. And some of the stuff you see, I did it some bigger because I wanted more of that purpley look. So I overlaid all of that and put them on my drawings and played around with it. And we got that beautiful kind of cold sky look. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I, oh, sorry, go ahead, Lala. <laughs> That was an no, I just wanted to say that one of the things that I really love about Lala's work is almost every page is a complete full picture. Yes. And we really get the feeling of the kids walking down the street to the bus stop. It's really fun. It is really fun. Um, I love all of the all of the little surprises you put in there. Lala, do you have any favorites? Uh yes. I do have a favorite. I have two things. My one favorite is this beautiful little bird that you see on this page. Oh, let me go here. This guy. I call him Birdie. And he is the cutest bird you've ever seen. And I just kind of snuck him in there. So if you get the book, can you see how many times you can find him? Because I put him in a lot. And I wanted him to have fun with all the others. And Birdie's always doing some fun, different things. One of my favorite of Birdie is when the kids all start playing and Birdie is right in there with them. Yes. I kind of imagine Birdie's getting ready to make a snow angel. <laughs> I think so too. I think he wants to do that and drink hot cocoa, which is what I wanted us to draw today. I wanted us to draw Birdie. Yes. So we're going to learn how to draw Birdie and put him doing together with yourself or him doing something that you want to do. So that is Birdie. And on my side, I'm going to teach you how to draw him. So. I will be drawing on this beautiful board over here. I have my markers and I will show you step by step how I draw a birdie. So come closer to me. So birdie is a very simple bird. So first you would draw using a teardrop. If you do not, if it's difficult to draw a teardrop, I'm just going to show you right here. So I do a circle and then a triangle at the end so it looks like this and then we're gonna make this tail which is kind of like mm, I guess a wide triangle so just a line here triangly shape and then another one here. It's kind of like a weirder triangle. And then his legs are sticks. So just two lines. And then we can't forget his mouth, which is a little triangle. 
So he needs an I, and his I is a dot. And then we know he has this beautiful scarf. So let me just make a line here and a line here and make a lecture rectangle line to make his scarf come up. And then I usually give him a little arm. So I show a curved line to give him his little feathers. And that's pretty. So I'll do it again. I'm going to change my pen and use this Sharpie. I'm going to draw him one more time. So circle. And it's okay if your circle doesn't always look like a circle. It, take, it took me a few times to get birdie right. And then triangle. <laughs> and then the little triangle for a tail. And one line here, one line there. And we're gonna make his mouth, which is a smaller triangle. Then we're gonna make a line here and here and extend it to make his little scarf. Then we're gonna make a dot for his eye. And then we're gonna make a curved line for his little skinner. But the more you do it, the more you get him. So now we're gonna draw Birdie doing something you want to do. For me, I want Birdie to be in hot cocoa because I like cocoa. So using another marker, I am gonna draw Birdie here so then, circle, a long triangle, a wider triangle for his tail, a smaller triangle for his beak, one line there. And there. Lala, I'm just going to jump in to say it's hard to see <laughs> the... Yeah, that first marker is perfect, but the oh, second okay. two are a little hard for us to see. You can probably see it clearly, but we can't. I'm going to use this marker again. Thank you. No problem. Circle. Triangle here. A little triangle there. Can you guys? Yes. And it's a little triangle for his nose. His little dot for his eye. The line for his little tail, another line for his scarf, and another line for his scarf. Longer rectangle, little feet, and then I'm gonna draw. Oops, hold on. I'm gonna have him standing on the edge of a cup of marshmallows and hot cocoa. So that's my little marshmallows. This is my steam. This is the cup. Making a little mug and adding a little handle so he can drink it and enjoy the hot chocolate. So that's why I have my birdie too. Oh, and we can draw Birdie making a snowman. Okay, let us see. Birdie, I'm going to draw him making a snowman. So, circle here, right there. Little tail. I'm going to put his feather up, which I made as a triangle, so he can roll a little snowman. There's his little leg, there's his other feather, and there's his little beak, and his little eye. Because he's trying to make a little snowman guy. He's rolling him up. We're going to give my little snowman a hat. We're going to make this little snowman a little smaller. Let's so put that. He's going to have curved, upturned eyes like him. And maybe Birdie gives him a scarf. And that's what he's giving him. 
so they can be the same. What else should Birdie be doing? Mm, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and let's just add a little snow things at the bottom. And we can add little snowflakes. What are you making Birdie do? Ooh, Birdie riding in a sleigh. Hmm, that would be so fun. Okay. Can you guys see up there? Okay. Mm, so Birdie will be enjoying, enjoying the sleigh. So I love his little triangle arms coming out. see can't forget his little scarf and i have to draw this from memory because i never ridden on a sleigh down for snow days um i think it would go like this and birdie is sitting there with his tail and enjoying his time and just sliding down this long snowy hill. Lala, you live in Florida, right? I do live in Florida. So you don't get the chance to have much snow. I do not. So <laughs> a lot of my snow experience is like watching the TV and it's like, I'm so happy Angela told me she lived in Maryland. I'm like, I think they get snow. So let me look up that. <laughs> oh, um, Angel, you're muted. You're muted. Unmute. Oh, Angel, you have to unmute. Oh, sorry. Go. That's okay. <laughs> now we get sometimes we get a lot of snow. Last year we didn't get very much at all, but sometimes we get like two feet, and Where then you, you live, snow Angela? days for a week. Where are you? Uh, I'm just west of Baltimore. So we're just on like on this side of the snow line, which is great. So we have some more suggestions for things we'd like to see Birdie do, but I also want to leave time for questions. So it's kind of special to have an author and an illustrator who worked on the same book here to answer any questions that all of you might have. I see one came in that I'm going to put up and <laughs> Um, oh, there's the first part. How do you make it perfect? <laughs> Pictures and words. Yeah. Hmm, that's a great question. That is a question. Great question. That's kind of a <laughs> thousand dollar question, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're always going for. Lots and lots of revisions for the writing. Lots and lots of revisions. And lots of revisions for the drawing part. Um, lots of it and i'm so glad that we get to work together and collaborate on this because it's like a team effort um, yes. using your words and then my images and then seeing how that works and then us collaborating to make the very best thing that we can and the team at cameron who helps us like the art director and such me and giving me advice so it's very helpful so i think that and a little bit of joy and encouragement helps makes it as perfect as can be that's right and always and reaching out to your inner child yes and, and just having that point of view um and you know it's interesting with picture books because so often they're read aloud so that's mm -hmm. part of the writing process is i read them aloud and listen to what it sounds like yes i know i read them a lot to be like Okay, so this character should be doing this, but what if I also add this? So. I love that when when you add extras to the. To <laughs> the I mean, it's uh, so much of it is extras, of course, because this actually this manuscript started out at just around two hundred words, and then through the whole editing process, it was less than one hundred words, and so you know, there's there's a lot you can say in a hundred words, but then there's so much more that's said in the pictures also. Sure. How did you get the idea to have Birdie on every page? Oh, well, that's a good question because 
I really like, I really love when I see and read other picture books and they have a hidden character that shows up a lot. And I just love putting little surprises. Like how in Disney movies and such, they put like little Easter eggs. I was like, Birdie is my Easter egg. It's my little hidden character. So can you find him everywhere? I thought that's always fun element for kids and to find and parents to read and be like, oh, there's Birdie. <laughs> and um, Natalie's students um, are are drawing right now. So Ooh. I wanted to, I wanted to tell you all that you can share your pictures with us. Um, you can share them with the hashtag 2022 on Instagram or on Twitter. And that way Lala and Angela can see them. Yes. Hashtag bus stop 2022. Hashtag bus stop 2022. I put it in the chat. Great. Um, our class wanted to tell Lala that we really like her pictures. Thank you, class. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what you're drawing. I can't wait to see them. And I appreciate your kind words. I love drawing with you guys. So fun. Birdie's and so gonna... great. I feel like I can draw a little bit. I, I tried to oh do Birdie God. doing Hopscotch. Oh, Hopscotch. Yes. <laughs> the dogs agree. Yes. When I get excited, Snickers gets excited. So. <laughs> Snickers. Snickers. So we can't respond to, or I, I'm not, can't respond to the comments. So I just want to say thank you guys all for your notes and hello yes. to all the folks who gave shout outs and, and all of you for coming. It's really wonderful. I, I'll give you all one last minute. If you have any last questions or comments you want to make, Lala, during this last minute to give people a chance to type, could you draw Birdie getting the cookies out of the jar? Yes, because who doesn't love getting cookies in the <laughs> jar? I, for one, am a fan. All right, so hmm, this requires a little bit of thinking. Uh, yes, all right. I will first draw the jar slightly open. We'll have some cookies in here. I like chocolate chip cookies. I don't know who likes oatmeal raisin, but you're no friend of me. <laughs> I love all that. And when the Girl Scout cookies come, I do love me a good mint chocolate chip. Those are my favorite. So these will be filled with chocolate chip cookies. I don't know what your favorite cookie is, but I hope you enjoy it. And I will have Birdie eating this little cookie here. It's sitting. Can't forget his scarf. Which there. And he's enjoying his cookie. And we're going to put him on the counter. He's just snacking away. And I'll give him some cheeks so you can see him chewing. But yeah, there he is. Nimble on these cookies. I wonder whose cookies these are. Hmm. Maybe it's Beatrice's cookies, and he just came and took them while she was reading. You guys are both muted. <laughs> I'm telling, I was telling Angela to unmute, but I was muted. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was just saying they looked so delicious. And I would love to reach my hand into that cookie jar. So would I, so would I. Everybody, thank you so much for being here, for sharing in our uh, author illustrator visit for Bus Stop. There is an independent bookstore um, in New York City called Books of Wonder. And in Books of Wonder, there are signed copies of Bus Stop. So if there's an occasion where you'd like to find the book for yourself, 
Books of Wonder can be a really great place to get them, but any store um, or your library. So yeah, you should definitely go to your, your public library will definitely have it. So ask your school librarian or go to your local library, introduce yourself to your librarian and ask them if you could take out bus stop and bring it home to share with your parents and then you can show them your birdie. Yes. And I see there's a uh, here from Baltimore. There are signed copies, not books in Baltimore. To the local. Yes. Oh, Angela's freezing, but. <laughs> They have is freezing and Snickers is barking, but in Baltimore, <laughs> yes, you can also can also find some copies. Yes, and at Snug Books at the independent bookstore there, and it's really cute. So definitely go. All right, everybody, you have a fantastic rest of your school day and a fantastic rest of your day to the grown-ups who are in the room. And we mm -hmm. thank you all for joining us so much. And I know I'll be waiting for my snow day here in New York City. Same here. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.